Right now, two people in the hospital after a porch collapse at Mifflin, the very latest. Plus, from links to a landfill, we'll tell you how Dane County's plans on an area project are progressing this morning. We have seen a lot and we are gearing up for more. We'll tell you when this guy will be your best friend. Coming up. Good morning, folks. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on a Monday morning. We have entered the month of May. It is May 2nd. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Leah Lynch. And Chris Stanford has the week off. Yes, it's May. We still got those April showers in the forecast, though. We'll get to Chris Reese's forecast and when you're going to want that umbrella coming up here. You're going to want minute. it, too. But first to our top story of the day. One person is in the Dane County Jail this morning after a standoff with police over the weekend. Madison police say it happened on the city's south side around 1 o'clock Sunday morning. Officers called to the home for a domestic disturbance after the suspect allegedly threatened a woman and young children. Police say the person left the home and surrendered after a few hours. We are still waiting for an update on the conditions of two people who were hurt during Saturday's Mifflin Street block party. Did you see the story over the weekend? A balcony collapsed on the street, injuring three people. Two had to be taken to the hospital. Here's new video from a much quieter Mifflin Street yesterday. Still pretty messy, though. In the afternoon, crews were able to stabilize the home. Officials haven't said what might have caused the collapse, though a fire chief told us the balcony was overcrowded. People also spent the weekend cleaning up. The street was pretty littered with bottles and cans after the party. A student group at UW-Madison wants to help residents of a campus co-op. Last month, we told you about the Zoe Bayless co-op, which is set to be torn down this summer to make way for a new academic building. On Friday, a student group held a fundraiser to raise money for the co-op's residents. Organizers sold t-shirts with money being used to help the students find a new building off campus. We're fighting to continue our community and continue to provide affordable housing for students. After nearly 70 years on campus, the co-op will be replaced by the new Irving and Dorothy Levy Hall when construction begins next year. All right, let's turn it over to Chris Reese now with your first warm weather, that certified most accurate forecast, the need for an umbrella. I know we're singing in the rain today, Leah, so we've got the umbrella handy because we're tracking more of those rain chances that are moving into the picture. You see already a lot of those starting to move in from the south and west as we go throughout today. A lot of this rain across parts of the nation's midsection. Uh, but we will see this move into the upper Midwest as we go through the next 24 hours, rather. That being said, Doppler track quiet out there right now, but watch how that begins to change. Here are those rain chances. They arrive overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Check out the clock. This is 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. Headed to the bus stop. That umbrella comes in handy. The rain boots come in handy. The rain jacket, whatever you need to stay dry, comes in handy tomorrow, especially the farther south you are in the state because that's where the heaviest rain is likely to be. We'll see sun on Wednesday before more rain works into our picture before the week is all said and done. That being said, 44 right now. The airport reporting showers. But we are dry, so that's an interesting feature there. 46 in Janesville at the moment, 43 in Monroe. Same for Platteville, 45 in Mineral Point. We'll continue to stay dry, but with the cloud cover all day, topping out at 54, here we go. Track this as we start to move towards the overnight hours. It is the true need for the umbrella as some soaking rain moves into the picture tomorrow morning. Again, 630, that sticks with us for much of your morning commute as well. Finally, around lunchtime, you'll start seeing those last drops of rain move through. You'll be able to shake this off and toss it by the wayside as we start to clear things out. Temperatures will be topping out right around 50 for your highs tomorrow. Rainfall numbers are going to be beneficial as well. We're talking perhaps half, maybe even three quarters of an inch to an inch of a rain uh, of rain rather in some spots. So the closer you are to the state line again, the heavier your totals will be, but all of us have the potential to see some good soaking rains out of this before all is said and done. You can track it with us as well. This will tell you when heavy rain is near your location. So if you have the umbrella handy and you need to get it out, uh, the, the app will alert you heavy rain is near your location and you'll be able to do that in due time. Also, we update videos on this app on a daily basis to keep you up to date with what to expect as well. So make sure that you do have that app. We'll also be telling you about the next sunny day. That comes Wednesday, 60 degrees, and I am not expecting 800,000 mile per hour winds to blow things around. It will actually feel good on Wednesday and more 70s are set to show up towards next week.
Just bring that sunshine, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're begging you. The sunshine is coming until now. We just sing and we're going to sing until the sun comes out. All right. We'll take it. Chris yep. Reese, thank you. 604 right now. So this entire area is the Ahara Hills Golf Course, of course. But in a few years, this part will still be a golf course, and this could actually be a landfill. Yeah, so you can see the green shaded area here will become the landfill. The gray will stay the golf course. This comes as the county is running out of space in its existing landfill. But as Tahalil Moedin explains, not everybody is in favor. It just feels kind of shady. Half of the Yahara Hills golf course, one step closer to becoming the new site of the Dane County landfill. My main concern, though, is just how quickly it's happening and that people don't know about it. Many in the area not on board with the city's plans. Why would we turn this valuable land close to the city on a major road with all of the utilities and everything else there? Why would we turn that into a dump when we can put a dump any old where? But officials at the county's Department of Waste say their plans for the new landfill with a sustainability campus and business park go beyond a hole in the ground. We need sewer, water, electricity, internet, a lot of those types of utilities. You also need, um, you know, proximity to decent haul routes and transportation routes. And so uh, Yahara really is an ideal site for having all of those things. Still, those by the golf course believe the city was too quick to agree. Why not throw it out to the, the community and say, hey, this golf course isn't making money for us right now. Does anyone want to partner with us put some money into this, and let's see if we can make it a destination. Even questioning the sale price, believing the land to be undervalued. I would get multiple appraisals. But city officials say the set price was slightly more than their real estate division's appraisal. And even if they managed to sell it for more than that, they'd end up paying the difference another way. They have to get that money back from their users, which is the city of Madison, which is paid for with tax dollars. So the more we drive the price up, the more they're going to drive up our tipping fees. Area residents, however, want the city to consider the community's voice. The message overall was, this is a done deal. We're just telling you as a courtesy, this is, you, there's nothing you can do about it. In Madison, Tehleen Mahaddeen, News 3 Now. County leaders say they plan to begin building a compost site, education center, and offices as early as 2025. Construction of the actual landfill would start in 2028. 606 now, the pandemic forced many classrooms to adapt to online learning, and in turn, virtual summer school has become more common, but that requires internet. If you're concerned about your students' access to classes this summer, know that you may be eligible for discounted or even free connectivity services. McKenna Alexander is here to explain. McKenna, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, you too. Uh, Spectrum recently launched its Internet 100 program, which provides a modem and home Wi-Fi and self-installation for $30 a month. Now, the federal affordable connectivity program also provides qualifying households with up to $30 a month for broadband service. So that means you could get Spectrum Internet for free. This is a great program for families to consider, especially if they have students who are wanting to learn remotely in the summer. We know that affordability and adoption are two key issues when it comes to the digital divide. Now, to qualify for Spectrum Internet 100, you need to be eligible for the Federal Affordable Connectivity Program. We have those requirements listed along with application information over on channel3000.com. All right, McKenna, thank you. Coming up on 608 this morning and still ahead for us, we're taking a look back at the month of April in the 608. See all the people, places, and things we're celebrating in the community. And with gas prices so high, maybe it's time to consider hybrid. Consumer Reports breaks down the pros and cons. It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, get Lay's for only $1.48. That's Lay's for only $1.48. While supplies last, Monday only. Scan the QR code or check out hyvdeals.com for more deals. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Your mission, stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke.
Rinvoke, a once daily pill can dramatically improve symptoms. Rinvoke helps tame pain, stiffness, swelling, and for some, Rinvoke can even significantly reduce RA fatigue. That's Rinvoke relief. With RA, your overactive immune system attacks your joints. Rinvoke regulates it to help stop the attack. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinvoke Relief. Rinvoke, make it your mission. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Rinvoke. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather-tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. Don't miss out. Call Renewal by Anderson today. Culver's couldn't have started anywhere but in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Still today, we are a family restaurant. Here, nearby farms grow the food we eat, smiles are contagious, and everyone is someone's neighbor. It's a place where our love of fresh food is as strong as our love for each other. It's a feeling of welcome you'll notice the moment you stop by. Because where we come from has made us who we are. And for that, we couldn't be more proud. Welcome to Delicious. It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, get Lay's for only $1.48. That's Lay's for only $1.48. While supplies last, Monday only. Scan the QR code or check out hyveedeals.com for more deals. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 611 on a Monday morning and celebrating all the places we've been across southern Wisconsin over the past four weeks. This morning, a look back to April and all the fun we've had once again in the 608. We're looking pretty fancy here on a Monday morning. See, Eat the yes. whole thing at once or do you bite into it? You can bite into it. Mm. <laughs> then That's we get excellent. a live reaction. Live TV sim. Doesn't live get any better TV than this, right? Doesn't get better than this. You can go into stock, just put in a stock pot here. Stock pot, stock pot. And then this thing, go to where? Stock pot. Yes. Stock pot going there. You waste nothing. I mean, that is cool. fantastic. <gasps> you hear that crunch? Did you hear the crunch of the bread? Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you hear the crunch of that? Like. I feel like he's rubbing it in my face that I didn't go. Okay. I honestly have to say, I think this is the best grilled cheese I've ever had. I'm more of a like, you slap some butter on some bread and throw it in the pan and you're good to go. But this is, this is good and I've got cheese all over my face, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, it is fine. If you want to, Mark is like, yeah, it's all over the place. Fantastic. Fantastic, guys. Of course, we're always eating here in the 608. No, you guys really worked to expand this over the last couple of years. What made you guys want to be a part of something like this, and especially during this time? This type of work for us is truly a labor of love. So partnering with organizations like ECHO, as well as you, as well as with other community-based organizations, we can really get that done and make a difference. What I have found out through getting the book in people's hands, there's something in the book that resonates with everybody. But I'm just glad I'm able to bring all these wonderful bar owners and patrons together. You know, flipping through here, Greg, too, it looks like there are a lot of different options available, really like something for everyone. With 120, you're talking, that's a lot. I mean, there's only 365 days a year. <laughs> you guys have 18 different specialties, and these are all volunteer physicians donating their time as well. Yeah, amazing. It takes a village, and we've got an amazing village of people who come together. Because this is your business. This is what you create, Oh, right? yeah. Yep, this is what I. This is my full-time job. It's what I spend all week doing. And in addition to setting up adjacent to the farmer's market, I do lots of local events. Um, we sell online. We have uh, local stores that we sell at. Um, it's very Madison. Hey, bud. Come on. Every time we retire a new monkey and they get to go outside for the first time, they get to see other monkeys, make friends, they get to groom each other, play. It's 
always just really amazing to see how they relax and how they enjoy their lives. Stay active, busy, and keep moving. <laughs> Keep moving for sure. One of my favorites, that one. You know, that story actually not only made an impact here in the 608, I had friends from other CBS stations across the country that they Aww. ran that story and people were just talking about it all over the country, so. It's a heart warmer. You see, you know, folks like that that we get to meet every day that are making a positive difference, not only here in our community, but really all across the area. So that's what we're here for and that's what we're gonna continue doing with these stories. It's so much fun. It's fun to watch Josh eat too, right? <laughs> we love to watch There's it. no shortage of food, that's no. for sure. No, that's why I have to not. work out so much, right? Oh, we love All to right. see it. Well, remember to let me know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email for a chance to be featured. A bigger ice rink may soon be coming to McFarland. The city's ice rink hosted a fundraiser event this weekend showing off some renovation concepts. There was also a Q&A session with community members. The expansion came into motion all because of a locker room. We looked at the boys' locker room and just looked at the deficiencies and what they have and what's comparable for the area, the type of program that we're trying to run. The expansion will also include a new training rink, a new puck shooting lane, and a new office training center. Baseball legend Jackie Robinson's all-star game bat has sold for $1 million in an auction. Golden Auctions announcing the sale of the 1949 bat, which came directly from Rachel Robinson, Jackie's widow. The single most expensive piece of Jackie Robinson's memorabilia is a game ward Brooklyn Dodgers jersey. His famous number 42 jersey sold for more than, get this, $4.2 million last year. Boy, pretty cool to own a piece of history like that, though. Quarter after six, Chris Reese is here with your first one weather. You're certified most accurate. Chris. Talking about the rain chances as we go through the week ahead, folks. Things are going to continue uh, to ramp up for us in terms of rain. Later on today and into tomorrow, we'll see some additional rain as we start to move towards Thursday and into Friday. Here's future track, though. You see that rain starting to move in from the south and west overnight tonight. That takes us to tomorrow in the morning. You will want the umbrella as you begin to head out the door by lunchtime. Early afternoon will start to clear out and then we're talking sunshine on Wednesday. Temperatures are going to be topping out into the 50s and 60s on Wednesday as well. Oh, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air. Get outside. It's going to feel good. Winds are going to be a little bit light as well. Clouds will start to increase so late Wednesday night because more rain is headed our way as we start to move towards Thursday, especially into the afternoon and evening. Then a wrap up for us into Friday, then perhaps some additional dry hours at times as we move into the weekend. But the rainfall numbers are going to add up again as we start to move towards the later part of the week. Here we are all the way into the weekend and some of those rainfall numbers could be on the order of one to two inches of rain, maybe even two to three, a little bit closer towards that state line. That being said, traffic this morning, going to be all smooth for us. No issues to report as of now in Dane County. Rock County is smooth as well. Jade Zell to Madison, Portage to Madison, even... Mineral Point to Madison. All going to be smooth for us this morning. We love to see it. Yes, we do. Chris Reese, thank you. Ahead on CBS Morning, Steve Hartman continues his special series, Kindness 101, where he's sharing stories that are built around themes of kindness and character and the people who have mastered those qualities. This morning's lesson, inclusion. Have you ever felt left out of anything? Once in pre-K, mm -hmm. and they said they had enough people. It felt like, oh, they don't want me. I'm not good enough. It's not a good feeling, like you're by yourself. And that's something I, w I don't want anybody to go through. What started in a high school cafeteria has swept the nation, has become a movement. As Steve and his kids show us, sometimes you don't have to walk more than a few feet to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. That story more coming up at 7, only on CBS Mornings. With gas prices at near or record highs, if you're in the market to buy a car right now, fuel efficiency might be high on your wish list. As Consumer Reports explains, there are lots of other good reasons to consider buying a hybrid. With gas prices soaring, it's no surprise hybrid vehicles are gaining popularity. And while the upfront costs are often more than their conventional gasoline counterparts, Consumer Reports says most hybrids will save you money over the long term. Hybrids have a gasoline-powered engine and a battery-powered electric motor that work together to optimize efficiency. We compared hybrid and non-hybrid versions of some popular vehicles and found that fuel savings could outweigh the upfront purchase price of some hybrid models. 
Using a gas price of $4 per gallon and driving 12,000 miles a year, the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid will pay off its higher cost in four years. The Honda Accord Hybrid in three, the Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid in just two. And if gas prices go up to $5 a gallon, the payback period for the Santa Fe Hybrid could drop to just one year. Beyond fuel economy, some hybrids perform better in our tests than the gas-only versions of the same model. For example, the Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid rides better, quieter, and shifts smoother than the gas-only Santa Fe. And it's quicker in our acceleration tests, too. Consumer Reports also finds hybrids often have higher owner satisfaction scores than their conventional counterparts. And if a new hybrid isn't in your budget, consider a used one. When buying a used car, we say the sweet spot is to look for a well-maintained vehicle that's five years old. Not only is it going to cost less than a new vehicle, but it was also designed and built recently enough where you get modern safety and convenience features. 20 after 6, still ahead for us, we'll tell you about the unusual suspect that blocked a plane on the runway. Video you have to see to believe. And in our next half hour, we kick off a week of call for action coverage with an introduction to the volunteers answering your calls. Stay with us. Sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning, installing train equipment and servicing all brands. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. Add value to your home with 11% off everything at Menards. Owens Corning Shingles offer ultimate protection and impressive curb appeal. Choose from over 60 styles. They're all 11% off. Update your garage with a new Chamberlain garage door opener. Their innovative high-tech features give you peace of mind by making it easy to access your home and garage. Get 11% off Chamberlain garage door openers now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Even liberal fact-checkers say Democrats have repeatedly lied about me. Now they distorted my record on the tax relief I got for more than 90% of American businesses. The truth is, because of my efforts, small businesses like these on Main Street were able to stay competitive with the big guys. I held firms that all businesses got tax cuts, allowing them to grow and create good-paying jobs. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. Hey sis, check out this cute spot. Bougie. I prefer my coffee with a view. Time to put the work in. Safety first. The 2022 Chevy Blazer and Trailblazer with standard Chevy safety assist. Part of the Chevy family of SUVs. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Add a new Chevy to your driveway. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Welcome back. We always ask you to share your morning with us. KCG is always sharing just a stunning, stunning shot. Chris Reese, breaking down these clouds for us. Yeah, these are cumulonimbus clouds. Cumulonimbus. Say mm -hmm. that seven times. Fast. No shortage of clouds these days. <laughs> <laughs> that Send is so all the true. We love it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Cloudy yep, days and Mondays. Mm -hmm. 
Casey G. <laughs> at least the pictures are pretty. We'll take it. There's Make a little blue sky there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this was probably from the thunderstorms on Saturday. Oh, we did see some sunny skies. At yeah. Mm-hmm. KCG, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for sending this in. 624 now. A plane in San Diego was stuck on the runway after being blocked by a pelican. Take a look at this stubborn fella. The Horizon Air flight was set to take off Thursday afternoon, but this pelican had other plans. It didn't cause much delay as a car on the runway was able to get the bird out of the way eventually. No one was hurt and the plane took off just a few minutes after its actual expected takeoff. My goodness, imagine being late. Your family's like, where were you? Well, those pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hear this story. <laughs> miss, miss like a job interview or miss a meeting. Oh, yeah, like, they yep, totally believe Blame you, right? the pelican. Could you imagine the headlines? Shock waves across the airports as a pelican causes major <laughs> delays. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh Beautiful. my goodness. No, I love this. I really do. And the fact you, again, I said this earlier, you have got to hear the, the pilot talking to air traffic control because they have the recording on that for this video from social media. And it is funny. They're just laughing about this pelican and it's in the flight path and the plane cannot move until the pelican cleared it for takeoff. This pelican is also in the middle of like a concrete desert. Where the heck did he come from? This is from? San Diego, California though. Oh, okay, yes, <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. notice right. the sun. <laughs> <laughs> that should have right? did this all up. This is not a Wisconsin pelican. Oh my gosh. Sun, probably about 72 degrees. <laughs> Definitely not our forecast Oh right no, now. it is not. As you head to the bus stop this morning, get ready for the cloud cover. We are sticking with that cloud cover out there today. Today. Temperatures are going to be warming up into the low 50s through those highs. That's okay. It'll feel good. It'll feel better than maybe parts of yesterday did. It's not going to be as windy as we were yesterday either, but we start to see rain chances coming our way. Not today, but tomorrow. So tomorrow, grab the umbrella and sing in the rain as you head to school. Maybe take the rain boots. Okay, I love when kids actually splash around in puddles. Like, I don't ever think I'll stop my kids from splashing around in puddles. Just it's enjoy cute. it. It's enjoy it. Cute. Um, and one of my favorite things is actually seeing adults do it. So, yeah, do that tomorrow before we have a sunny day on Wednesday. All right. Stay with us, folks. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County continues to help hardworking families attain home ownership. By providing financial coaching, homeowners can manage their mortgage and other finances while building stability for their family. Strengthen our community. Support Habitat Dane County. At Papa Murphy's, we filled your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. At Papa Murphy's, we make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Right now, enjoy a 550 burrito meal deal, only at McDonald's. Coming to the Big Show. Meet me at Vetty, Saturday, June 11th at Oakshot Gaming and Casino in Wisconsin Dells for an all-day outdoor event. Come out for classic cars, trucks, and motorcycles during the day and stay for the concert at night. Featuring country superstar Trey Atkins, Runaway June, The Mascot Theory, and Beth Killyman. All benefiting Eat and Housing for Heroes. Visit VetAWI.com for more details. Oh, we get what we deserve. And we're down, we go. Aqua de Joe, the new refillable eau de parfum. Giorgio Armani. It's the most time of the year. Claritin provides non-drowsy symptom relief from over 200 indoor and outdoor allergens day after day. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin Clear. 
We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. This Mother's Day, buy one 60-minute facial session and get a second session free. Massage envy facials, where better begins. Dear gas prices, Toyota's hybrid lineup says, go take a hike because we bring efficiency with power and savings with style. Think you can stand in our way? We got this. Toyota Hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. This morning, evacuations underway in parts of Ukraine. We'll tell you how many folks the United Nations have gotten out so far and what comes next. Plus, we're introducing you to the volunteers behind our Call for Action team, how they can help solve your consumer complaints. We are getting you out the door and planning your day this morning. We have rain chances coming up. We'll break it down in just a few minutes. Good Monday morning, everybody. Thanks for waking up with us here on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. And I'm Josh Breider. Chris Stanford has the week off. First this half hour, the man accused of shooting and killing another man at a Janesville business is expected in court later this week. His bond was set at $1 million for that Tuesday homicide. And now that victim is being identified as 30-year-old Devon Hills. In an obituary, Hills' family said he tragically passed away following a senseless act of violence. They called him a hard worker, a mama's boy, and a diehard Eagles fan. Hills is survived by three children. A visitation is set for Thursday. We'll push out any updates to this investigation through the Channel 3000 mobile app. You can download it for free today in your app store. Ukrainian officials say evacuations from Mariupol will continue today after the United Nations successfully pulled out about 100 people out of the city this weekend. But attacks continue in the north and south. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other members of Congress visited the capital city of Kyiv yesterday and told Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky U.S. support will not waver. Our fight is a fight for everyone. And so our commitment is to be there for you until the fight is done. President Biden is set to visit a Lockheed Martin factory in Alabama on Tuesday. The facility makes anti-tank weapon systems the U.S. is sending to Ukraine. In more local news this morning, a teenager is in the hospital right now after a crash in Fitchburg. This one car crash happened on Highway 14 just north of Oregon. The 17-year-old's injuries are being described as life-threatening. Fitchburg police are in leading that investigation. Police in Beloit need your help this morning to reunite a lost dog with its owners. They found this guy on Farwell Street yesterday afternoon. A few blocks from Summit Park. If you recognize him, you can give Beloit Police a call. Their phone number is right there on your screen. 6.32 right now on a Monday morning. Chris Reese is helping us get out the door. Yeah, a little mundane out there today. No need for the umbrella. No need for the umbrella. Yep, this will come into hand later. And then, no need for the jacket or the coat, really. But it is going to be gray all day long. We plan out your day. Look for a lot of cloud cover. Temperatures are going to be warming up into the low and mid-50s for your highs later on this afternoon. That's a bit warmer than yesterday, but still cooler for this time of the year. It is dry. It is not raining at the airport right now, but for some reason, something's going on with the airport system reporting raindrops. It is just cloudy outside. No need for the umbrella just yet. The temperature at 44 degrees, 46 in Janesville right now. Mineral Point waking up at 45, same for Lone Rock. Basketball, good morning to you. It is 46. You look at Doppler track. It is completely clear for us across the Badger State, but just zoom things out and you start to sing in the rain. That's right. We are tracking some of those rain chances just to our south and west, and that's gonna increase the need for this guy, the umbrella, as we start to move towards tomorrow. That being said, road conditions are all smooth for now. This is the belt line of Todd Drive, completely dry. I'm giving you the green light all day today because tomorrow morning things might be a little bit yellow as some um, Soaking rain works its way into parts of Wisconsin. This is 8 o'clock tonight. Notice how we're still dry at this point. Here we go now. This is now 1 o'clock in the morning. Now 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And this is why I grabbed this. I want to make sure that everyone is prepared for an umbrella. Especially if you've got to go to the bus stop tomorrow morning. You've got to walk the kids to the bus stop or your kids are going you need the umbrella tomorrow morning or the rain jacket or the rain boots, the whole shebang. It is going to be a soaking rain for much of 
the AM part of the day. Once we get you towards 1230, the rain starts to lighten up just a bit, and then we'll begin to dry things out to the afternoon. Temperatures will be topping out right around uh, 49, 50 degrees or so. Rainfall numbers are going to be beneficial, perhaps three quarters of an inch to an inch of some rain that'll continue to help our drought situation. We are so close to being officially out of the drought, but what I believe we need more right now mentally is a day of sunshine and that comes Wednesday. We have had so many days upon days upon days of the cloud cover and the rain. Wednesday is a day that I'm looking forward to. Uh, yeah, don't give alert days for sunshine here, but everyone Wednesday is going to affect you in a very positive way. We'll see sunshine. We'll see temperatures around 60 and it's not going to be super windy either. So it's going to be a prime day of this forecast. Even better days showing up towards next week. Temperatures into the 70s. The news we needed on a Monday. Yes, it is something to look forward to. There's always something to look forward to. Love that advice. Chris Reese, thank you. After two years of the pandemic, the call for action phone lines are finally back online. That gives you one more option to get a hold of our volunteers who are here to answer your questions and complaints. We wanted to give you a peek behind the curtain of who exactly these folks are. Well, we've not had anyone else call about this. When you call, call for action. It's a free resource. Your first thought might not be about who's on the other end of the line. It's a resource that people who work here care deeply about. But the dedicated volunteers taking the time to pick up the phone, listen to your story, mediate on your behalf with the company in question, and get results have stories of their own. I came from a family of teachers. My grandmother taught German children how to speak English. We wanted to let them introduce themselves. It was just sort of in my DNA to become a teacher. That's our lead volunteer, Barb. It's hard to describe how many hats she's worn in her life. I went to Dane County Department of Human Services and I worked as a child protective services social worker. I have also worked um, in Mexico in the southern border with migrants uh, and people crossing the border. For six years I did that. A principal, counselor and community advocate. Right. She's the captain of our team. Thank you. Bye bye. We try and help people. We try and educate people. We try and um, take people who are kind of just floundering about what to do to solve a problem and help them get to a solution. I'm a strong believer that uh, you go through life, people help you, you need to help others kind of return the favor. Terry's time with CFA is relatively short. His resume, anything but. I am a veteran, also I'm a retired attorney. With respect to securities law, uh, brokerage firms, investment advisory firms, um, hedge funds, things like that. Terry's specialty, speaking in finance, an unfamiliar language for most of us. Those people who are kind of a different area that they don't aren't familiar with and not comfortable with they can come to me and and call for action and get some assistance just kind of walk me through how this happened one of terry's most recent cases is a success story we aired returning nearly two hundred fifty thousand dollars to a local farmer who was scammed out of his retirement savings that's the most probably a memorable one. The case that I probably think of most immediately was the young woman with the brain tumor. And Judy, our resident expert in health care, specializing in public health and human connection. She had quit teaching. She couldn't remember her children's names anymore. And she was in her 30s. And her health insurer would not give her a referral to the doctors who could who could successfully do the surgery but eventually she and her family picked up moved to texas she had the surgery successfully sent me a photo of her head with the scar on it and you know she's and stayed in touch for quite a long time she and i created such an important relationship and that meant a lot to me and i think the people that work here that gravitate towards something like this these volunteers and more working for their community they are a reflection of who we all are as madisonians something to remember next time you pick up the phone to call for action. They're people that are sensitive to others' needs and they look at their community as, as being so important that they need to be a part of the helping part of that community. 
Our Call for Action volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 until 1. Give them a call at that number on your screen. That's 608-278-2833. You can also always call for action anytime online. Submit a claim at channel3000.com slash call for action. This is such a huge deal, and I mean, they make a big impact every single day, so they are here to help. Yeah, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, we received word from the National Call for Action office in Washington, D.C. that we are the most successful call for action arm we are getting the most money back to folks here in the Madison area. Wow. That's a big deal. We've gotten $356,000 back to viewers just this year, and it's May. So give them a call. If you don't think they can answer your consumer complaint, you might be wrong. We have people with just a myriad of experiences and skill sets, so give us a call. Working hard for you? Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a live look outside right now. 639 on a Monday morning, unfortunately, starting off mostly cloudy and cool this week, but we've got some rain to talk about and then some sun, a little bit of everything in this mixed bag of a forecast. Chris Reese is breaking it all down coming up. And a reminder on why and how to check your skin on this Melanoma Monday. Plus, we're in the 608 as we're taking a look back at all of the fun we've had in the past four yeah, weeks. Stick around. <laughs> Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Wow, this is where you work now? Figured I deserved a more inspiring space. And with home values being up, I had a lot of equity. So I got a home equity line of credit from Summit. And voila, added a home office. Took your business to the next level. Hey, you two have been in your place for a couple years now. Any fun plans? Well, we just finished a refi with Summit. Mm -hmm. Really? And the plan is to make a bunch of great memories. We're going to use the savings to get a camper. Home. Whatever your goals, Summit Credit Union can help you use your home's equity to go get them. We're here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, where we're highlighting some unique playing styles. Yeah, Jerry, take Marge and Carol here. They're sure having fun. And notice what appears to be a lucky troll dial on this machine. Oh, and look, that's the famous bingo card tap. That one always brings good luck. And check out the form on this pool. That's gotta be a lucky bracelet. <laughs> Looks like you got your own lucky bracelet. <laughs> uh, what bracelet? <laughs> Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Broadway's Tony-winning best musical is Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen, May 10th to 15th at Overture Center. Find your tickets at Overture.org today. Incoming! You don't have to love laundry to love Arm & Hammer Plus OxyClean. It removes microscopic stains and dirt for a deep, hygienic clean. How we do it. At Pick and Save, we believe it takes the right team to bring you fresh produce. That's why we partner with farmers who grow only the best. And that level of teamwork means better, fresher options time and time again. Because working together is truly what it takes to be fresh for everyone. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. News 3 Now is taking action to keep you on top of the latest breaking news. Taking action whenever news breaks with a team committed to following developing stories so you'll know all the facts. Taking action for South Central Wisconsin. News 3 Now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warren Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warren Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. The Milwaukee Bucks postseason continues on after an exciting series opener against the Boston Celtics. To no one's surprise, Milwaukee's offense fueled by a tremendous performance from Giannis. He eclipsed a triple-double by the start of the fourth quarter. He'd finished the game with video game-like stats. 24 points, 12 assists, 13 rebounds. I was just trying to be aggressive. 
Obviously, a lot of shots didn't fall, but I was trying to be aggressive. My teammates want me to be aggressive. I'm trying to get to the paint, make plays for my teammates and myself, and uh, I was fortunate enough to make that play. All right, the Bucks play game two against the Celtics tomorrow night in Boston. Well, it is Melanoma Monday, a day to raise awareness for the most serious form of skin cancer. Melanoma is one of the most common cancers found in young adults, especially young women. Melanoma rates are increasing here in the U.S. and have doubled over the last 30 years. I was embarrassed because I felt like I gave myself cancer because I thought about all the times I should have worn sunscreen. I shouldn't have gone in a tanning bed. The American Academy of Dermatology urges everyone to do regular skin checks and follow the ABCDE rule. That's asymmetry, irregular border, varying color, diameter, as melanomas are usually more than six millimeters, and evolving. Quarter to seven now. Chris Reese here with your first worn weather. No sun in sight, at least not today, Chris. Just not today, but there will be a sunny day, perhaps multiple sunny days as we go through the week. We're tracking some rain chances that move into the picture tomorrow. Today's going to be dry. But tomorrow night, or tonight into tomorrow morning, rather, that is what we're going to see. Widespread rain, washout conditions for early Tuesday. Rain chances begin to decrease Tuesday night. Wednesday is a day of sunshine. That's ahead of more rain chances as we move towards Thursday. And Thursday night, we could be tracking some widespread rain. By the weekend, it is more sunshine on tap for your Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures are going to feel so much better as we start to move towards this weekend, too. Oh, my gosh. I just cannot wait until we get to the weekend there. Rain chances, though, are really going to highlight southern Wisconsin as we move throughout much of your Tuesday morning. This is 830 tomorrow morning, and this is why I'm telling everyone to make sure that umbrella is on hand and ready to go. Here's Wednesday, though. You see how those clouds clear out tomorrow night. Wednesday, we're talking sunshine. Temperatures will be into the 50s and 60s on Wednesday, so it's going to feel absolutely incredible. Here's tonight's rain system, by the way. The next one starts to move in Thursday into Friday. Once again, highlighting areas to the south a little bit more. Dry for the weekend before some additional rain chances start to arrive into parts of next week. The rainfall totals are, though, beneficial. We are still in a drought, by the way. Way. I know it doesn't feel like it, but we are perhaps a half an inch to a three quarters of an inch of rain out there today. We'll add more rain to that before the week is done. All right, Chris, thank you. We are celebrating all of the places we've been across southern Wisconsin over the past four weeks. This morning, we're taking a look back at April and all of the fun we've once again had in the 608. You'd be the striker, so you're just going to pass it to me. I'm going to lay it off to you and you finish. <laughs> Just a little okay. bit outside. You were 100% in every one of Everything before we did this. And I did get it live on TV before the commercial break, too. So not too bad. Our Leah Lindshine and Josh Prider have some team coverage for you this morning. They're having a little catch out there right on the field. Oh, boy, I am jealous, you guys. Oh, my goodness. He had one oh, job. Oh, Chris, the last <laughs> throw you saw. I biffed it. Fast-moving air creates low pressure. So you should be able to keep that beach ball right in the stream of air, all right? Let's do it, ready? All right. Look at that. Nice job, you're a pro. I you am a pro. You wanna be on the show this week, I'm a scientist. <laughs> Look what I made, guys. Oh, yeah. Chris is going to take credit for this. You can't see it, Josh, but <laughs> my, I made a crane, and mine actually flies. Maybe I made a crane. Chris made the, Chris made the crane. Yeah, I'm kidding. We made it. Chris is, <laughs> doesn't Chris just look like the picture of I creativity? Have, I have delicate fingers. I work <laughs> Coordination. Here. Yeah, this is impressive. Okay, and I missed the bench. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to loop around. <laughs> and. Yes. Suck yes. it. Hey guys, you ready for some bowling? We're gonna see if I can Let's get a strike it. here. We're starting off with a little bit of bowling. Here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I got three of them down. <laughs> oh, Mark's kicking it back to me. Let's see if we can get a spare. Let's see if we can get a spare. There it goes. <laughs> Aggressive. Do it and see what happens. Let's make it a party. The rest of you jump yeah, in, too. Go all in. <laughs> Woo. There they are. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, what a party. Very oh, there's impressive. monkeys there jumping go. in here, too. Here, here's the <laughs> Look at that. Mark <laughs> can't miss out on all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Hey, Josh, uh, thanks for showing us around there. 
so much fun here in the 608. I missed that last one, but boy, what a party. It is a party. It's always a party, right? Yeah. I think, you know, that's what we do with this segment is that was kind of the goal behind it is to give you a reason to smile, get out into the community, meet all those, uh, you know, wonderful people doing amazing things in our community. So we're doing it. We're still, uh, you know, we've been at this for what, over a year and a half now? Yeah. And the stories keep rolling in. So you guys keep sending me the story ideas. And we're going to keep doing it. Hey, we love to feature them. That's for sure. Yeah. And if with that, if you have any of those ideas you'd like to send over to me, please do so. You can find me either on social media, send me a message there, or you can also send an email at in the 608 at WISCTV.com for a chance to be featured. Just about 649 on your Monday. Coming up in the morning sprint, if you're booking an Airbnb soon, be aware of the changes they're making to their refund policy. But first, we want to say happy birthday to Evan and Sam and all the other kids turning three today. Happy birthday from us here at News 3 Now this morning. Locos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. At Star Inn Bank, we think having choices is important, so you can choose the products that are right for your life. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. More Americans are growing their own vegetables than ever before. At Garden Mats, we're here to help people supplement their food supply with fresh, organic vegetables. Whether you are a beginner, novice, or master gardener, Garden Mats make gardening a breeze. Spend your summers trying to keep up with each other, not your weeds. Go to GardenMats.com and plan your garden today. It shouldn't take a storm of biblical proportions to find out who you can count on. It shouldn't take a four foot diameter oak tree in your kitchen to find out who you can trust. It shouldn't take the worst to bring out our best, but sometimes it does. And that's the silver lining. Okay, floor and decor, show me what you've got. Now this tile says spa day all day, but this tile says classic on glam, and this modern look, it's sleek yet chic. Okay, I've got it. Everything I need to pull this project together and all at the perfect price. At Floor & Decor, you can realize any aspirational project at an inspirational price. Because with an unmatched selection of high quality products, all at everyday low prices, your bathroom upgrade has never been more you. Discover Floor & Decor today. Brel-V helps you fight migraine attacks. You put it all on the line. You do it all. So you bring you brel -V. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, you v is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong 63A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy can help you save. Ask about you brel -V, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Hi, I'm Kylie, and I make fresh, delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Uh, hi, I'm Zach, and I make the Papa Murphy's pizza. Sure, that's cake and bake. We build it with the freshest ingredients. You bake it fresh in your oven. By you, you mean me, so technically, I make the pizza. Super good pizza, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, so good. At Papa Murphy's, we make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Oh, yeah, I make the pizza great. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Today's the day to go farther with a partner that provides you innovative solutions for your own personal financial future. Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. For a great lawn that will stay lush and green, go to WeedMan.com today. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi led a group of Democratic lawmakers on a surprise visit to Ukraine's capital this weekend. In Kyiv, they met with President Volodymyr Zelensky and said the U.S. remains committed to Ukraine's defense. On the front lines in Mariupol, more civilians were evacuated from a massive steel plant where Ukrainian troops and civilians are trapped. Dane County is running out of space at their current landfill, but in a few years, part of the Ahara Golf Course will become the new space. Officials at the county's waste department 
Chapman say their plans for the new landfill with a sustainability campus and business park go beyond a hole in the ground. More about what the county plans to do with that space is up on channel3000.com. UW students grabbing a bite to eat to see what life is like on the farm this weekend. Yesterday, the Association of Women in Agriculture held a farm-style breakfast at the UW Stock Pavilion. This was the 26th year the AWA has held the event. The 11th annual Cycle for Sight took place over the weekend on Capitol Square. The fundraiser benefiting eye research at the McPherson Eye Research Institute at UW. Blinding diseases affects millions of Americans, including 100,000 here in Wisconsin. Cycle for Sight met their goal of $50,000 in donations. President Biden stopping in the Midwest this weekend to remember former Vice President Walter Mondale. The Minnesotan died last year, but his memorial service had been delayed because of the pandemic. The White House says Biden wanted to attend the service because he had a personal relationship with the former VP. The Brewers unable to sweep the Cubs in Milwaukee this weekend. Milwaukee ace Corbin Burns was fantastic yesterday, giving up just two runs on three hits through seven innings. However, Cubs starter Marcus Stroman was just a little bit better, shutting out the crew over seven innings pitched. A day of fun in Georgia turned dangerous Saturday. At least three people were seriously hurt after a pedal pub toppled over. Atlanta police say the incident happened while the peddlers were trying to turn. At least 15 people were hurt, though most of them just had minor injuries. The driver was arrested for DUI. Airbnb's popular COVID refund policy will be ending this month. After May 31st, guests will have to cover short-term rental costs, even if the cancellation was due to COVID. Cancellation policies will return to the discretion of the individual host property. Airbnb is promising to offer guests travel insurance in the near future, which will provide yet another refund option for consumers. The Judds were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame last night in Nashville without their matriarch. Naomi Judd died at age 76. Her daughter saying they lost her to mental illness. Mother Daughter Act, Naomi and Winona Judd were among the most popular duos of the 1980s. Moderna's chief medical officer tells CBS has faced the nation he is absolutely confident that data for the company's vaccine for young children will be ready for the FDA to review in June. Last week, Moderna asked the FDA for an emergency use authorization for the vaccine for kids under six years old. Pfizer also expects this data to be ready by the time the FDA holds its June meeting. A mundane day as you begin to head out the door. No need for the sunglasses, but also no need for the umbrella. No real need for the jacket either. It's not going to rain today, but it's cloudy all day long. Temperatures a little bit better than yesterday, warming up into the low and mid 50s for your highs later on this afternoon. You look at Doppler track and you see our next system. It is on radar and that's going to be moving our direction this time tomorrow. It's why I'm going to encourage you to have your umbrella, folks. Look for the rain arriving overnight tonight and soaking us as you head out the door for your Tuesday. All right, Chris, thank you. Thank you very much for of joining course. us this morning, folks. Have a great Monday. We'll be back here, same time, same place, Tuesday morning.